Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a managing miscellanea guide. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how it works and how you can make money off of managing miscellanea. It is a really great passive money-making method. Um, so if you guys do have it unlocked, make sure to do this because it's just some free and easy money that you can obtain. So first we're gonna look at the requirements that you do require to access managing miscellanea. First off is the Throne of Miscellanea quest. Now this is the only true requirement. However, there is a second follow-up quest, which is Royal Trouble, which is highly recommended. This quest will allow you to make more profit as well as make this method more passive. So you don't actually need to check it as frequently. So you will definitely want to have both of these quests done. First you complete Throne of Miscellanea and then just complete Royal Trouble. They're pretty easy quests. Um, they don't take too long, so it shouldn't be too difficult to complete these. And then also, as I mentioned earlier, Managing Miscellanea is a passive moneymaker that you can check once per day to maximize your profit. However, you can check it about once per week and you will get some pretty good profit anyway. Um, you don't, you definitely don't need to check it every day to make profit. Um, usually about once per week is fine. So now let's take a look at how it works. So first off, you will want to assign your workers to gather resources for you. And we will take a look at this later on. Um, and then also it will reset at zero UTC, which is game time. Um, so what this means is your workers will collect the resources at the reset time. And so every day at that reset time, you will be spending 75,000 coins if you do have Royal Trouble completed, um, and 50,000 if you don't. Um, you definitely will want to have the 75,000, the Royal Trouble completed, because you will be making more profit off of this as well. Um, but also on the reset time, this is when you will collect your resources as well, or they would at least go to the coffer, which will allow you to collect them later. So the way the resource collection works, it does depend on the approval rating. So the approval rating basically determines how many resources you will obtain. So depending on the percentage, so for example, if you have a 100% approval rating, you'll gather 100% of the daily loot. And it does decrease by 1% per day with the Royal Trouble quest. And then minus 2.5% if you only have the Throne of Miscellanea quest completed. This is why you will want to have Royal Trouble completed because it makes it more passive. You'll only lose that approval rating of 1% per day. So that's why if you do leave it for just a week, it'll only get go down 7% per day. So on that seventh day, if you decide not to boost up your approval rating again, you'll still get 93% of the daily loot, which is pretty good. Now, this is the interface of how it looks when you are managing your kingdom. So as you can see, you have your coffer in the top left. You will need to put money into the coffer to pay your workers. Now, if you do have Royal Trouble, you can put a maximum of 7.5 million in there. But if you don't have that quest completed, the max will be 5 million. And as I said, you will be spending this money each day while your workers are collecting resources for you. But you will be making profit off of this as well. So you can see that you can allocate your workers on various different locations to gather different resources and things like that. But I am going to be showing you guys which ones you should be doing. So as you can see on this graph, this lists the expected profit for each of the um, worker allocations. So as you can see, fishing for raw fish is the best expected profit right now at 136k profit. Um, second is the herbs, which I, is what I had fully maximized because that was the most profitable when I was al allocating my workers. So as you can see, it's 130k. It's pretty close to the raw fishing. But for now, that is what you will want to do. You'll want to make sure you have it in the fishing, the raw fish, as well as collecting herbs. So maximize the allocation for the raw fish and then put the other five workers in the herb collections. If you want consistent money, you could switch the herbs to wood cutting because as you can see, you can actually make a loss if you are getting some pretty bad herbs because as you can see, the minimum profit for the herbs is negative about 44K. Um, so if you are just looking to always make profit, some pretty consistent profit, then you could go with fishing the raw fish as well as wood cutting. 
Now, I wanna quickly show you guys what the kingdom looks like. So first off, if you do use your luck of the dwarves, you can teleport to miscellanea and you'll teleport to the top room. Um, now, just to uh, restore your approval rating and bump it up a few percentage points, you can go help out your workers with various different tasks around miscellanea. First off, you can rake the farming patch here. This is some pretty quick approval points. Um, you can also woodcut the maple trees. This is a bit slower, I don't usually do this, um, but the best spot I do find is definitely mining the coal. This is pretty AFK too, so if your approval rating is down quite a bit, you can just click on this and it will go up pretty quickly and you don't really need to pay any attention either. Um, so this is probably the best spot to gain your approval rating. Now if you want to switch the way you are allocating your workers, you can do this by talking to Advisor Grimm at the top part of the tower. Um, and as I said, you can switch these around whenever you want. Even if you do switch them during the day, it will still count for that day. So when the reset time does come, um, it will consider the switch and give you those resources instead. Um, and you can switch them around whenever you want. So if the profit on one of them changes and becomes a bit better, you can definitely just go to the kingdom and change that around. Now I also want to show you guys how much money you can make from this. So the last time I collected was about five weeks ago and I did spend about three million just in paying my workers. As you can see from the five weeks, we gained about 9.3 mil in revenue. And so if you take into account the three mil for paying the workers, it's about six mil profit, which is pretty good, especially for just a passive money making method where I only check it a few times every week. Even though the loot really isn't too much, it is better than nothing. So if you guys do have the Royal Treble quest completed, you will definitely want to try this out and just make some extra money on the side. Now, not even to mention, this is really great for Iron Men as well. As you can see, there's tons of raw resources that will be super helpful. You got your raw fish, you got your seeds and herbs for herb lore. There's a bunch of really useful resources for Iron Men here as well. Um, so that is another really big benefit. Um, managing miscellanea is definitely a really important feature in Iron Man when you are trying to build your account. Also, if you do switch your workers to the woodcutting option, you will get some nests as well, which you can collect some seeds from. So that is another really great option for Iron Man if you're looking for some rare and exotic seeds. Um, you can definitely do that. And of course, the profit does vary greatly depending on the seeds you get. Um, so that is another thing just to take into account as well. And so anyway guys, that is it for this video. Now before I finish it, I do want to mention that they are going to be working on a rework for Managing Miscellanea at some point. So when that update does become released, I will be making an updated version of this guide. Um, and I will probably put outdated in the title, so if that does happen, that means there has been a rework and this guide may be outdated. Um, but anyway, we don't really know when that will be, so this guide should be pretty relevant for a while. Anyway guys, I really hope you did enjoy today's video, and if you guys haven't already started managing miscellanea, definitely make sure you do it because it's just a little bit of extra cash that you can get on the side. And I really hope you guys did enjoy the video and found it helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.